Hello, welcome to your science class. Today we're going to talk about biotic and abiotic factors in ecosystems. Take a look at this picture. This is an ecosystem. You can find living and non living things in this ecosystem. Let's see if you can identify plants, insects, animals, and fungi are living things. Can you see some of the non-living things? Rocks, soil, water, temperature, humidity, and wind are some of the non-living things. Why are biotic and abiotic factors important in an ecosystem? You will see. First of all, biotic factors interact with each other. They protect themselves, they reproduce, and they eat each other. Look at this picture. The plant is being eaten by the caterpillar. The caterpillar is eaten by the frog. Now the snake is going to eat the frog. And the owl is going to eat the snake. This is what we call a food chain. Sometimes the man is on top of this food chain. Now what would happen to this food chain if one of these animals or living things disappear? Well, then is why we consider abiotic factors important. Because abiotic factors determine life in ecosystems. Here we have another ecosystem. This is the desert. And you know that deserts are very dry places. Camels and cacti survive because they are adapted to the lack of water. Now think of a hippopotamus. Do you think a hippopotamus could live in a desert? Of course not. A hippopotamus needs to be by the non-living thing, which is the water. Think about fish. Ocean fish live in salty water. River fish live in fresh water. Ocean fish would not survive in fresh water. That is another example of how abiotic factors influence life in an ecosystem. I am sure you're going to remember very well what biotic and abiotic factors are and the importance in an ecosystem. Now let's see if you remember. What are biotic factors in ecosystems? Biotic factors are the living part of the ecosystem. Now, what are some of the abiotic factors we find in ecosystems? Well, there are many, but some are Rocks, soil, temperature, wind, and water. Why do living things need each other? Because they protect themselves, they reproduce, and they eat each other. Well, children, this is all for today. I hope you like this science class. Goodbye.